And away they go from the 1800 meter marker. Nightlark, one of the trailers early on. Jammers overcoming a draws one of the leaders, seeking the dreamers right there, second lieutenant at the rail. Live on the moon is back forth and then comes maybe near the rail. The ginger man between runners on the outside is French Mark. Rosalind Chapels in the blue took three or four deep at this stage. Then Nightlock followed by King's Approval and Roy Selvins in the back seat. And that's racing about 10, 11 lengths off the leader. The favourite jammer sets the fractions a length and a quarter. Live on the moon second. Then second lieutenant behind that one seeking the dreamers back forth. Maybe is on the outside of that one, or rather on the inside near the rail. The ginger man is between horses. Roslyn Chapel, that's in the blue silks. They are followed by French Mark, then Lago Cuomo. Further back in the running is Nightlark. Now French Mark at this stage has dropped out now to third last, about eight or nine lengths off the leader. And then King's Approval and Roy Selvin. Jammer still continues to control the pace. Live on the moon, second lieutenant. Between them, seeking the dream, Roslyn Chapel on the outside with the blue cap. Near the rail is maybe the filly, then comes the ginger man. French Marcus towards the outside, followed by Nightlock. Top of the lane, Jammer continues to lead it. Live on the moon. Second lieutenant on the inside. Towards the outside, seeking the dream, Roslyn Chapel. The ginger man towards the outside. And French Mark also tries to run on. Getting to the last 200 though. Jammer's the leader. On the outside, Roslyn Chapel. Live on the moon. Down the inside maybe. Jammer and Roslyn Chapel. These are the two. Roslyn Chapel's coming home powerfully though. And Roslyn Chapel just won it. Second Jammer. Live on the moon. Ran third. Number four, Roslyn Chapel for Waya Mawing, the right approach. And we'll end up winning a close decision. Number four shows up 870 the win, three round the plays. Was caught wider throughout the race, but stays on doggedly to record his second win from 14 outings. He beats the tote favourite into second by about a head or so. Jammer ran second. Third, Live on the Moon. The fourth placing will go to French Mark, maybe, then Seeking the Dream. They were followed by Nightlock, then came King's Approval as we continue to run it. A well-stretched outfield at the business end of the 1800. Roy Selvin is further back in the running, then second lieutenant. As we look at the head-on, Jammer with the blue sleeves and cap in the middle of your picture. The winner's on the right with the black blinkers and the blue cap. Three off the right. That's Rosalind Chapel, and they come together. They have a ding-dong tussle from the 200. Jammer just in front, but Rosalind Chapel continues to nag away, and Rosalind Chapel will get up in the shadow of the post to win it by about a head. So Rosalind Chapel just beats Jammer into that second place. Until the running of the third, back to the studio. Welcome back to Gravel Racecourse. You've just seen the running of race number two. It's gone to the three-year-old son of a right approach, Rosalind Chapel, who uh, once uh, given the ground, uh, moved up really well under the hands of Anthony Dalpesh and challenged strongly to hold off the favourite. You must be over the moon with that effort. Yeah, we're very over the moon. You know, he's a horse that came up from PE. We did test him up in Joburg and, you know, the way he worked, we said let's send him down to Durban. He'll perform for us on the poly. You know, last time it was his first run on the poly for us and it wasn't a disappointing run at all and, you know, we knew it was coming soon. So very big well done to all the connections. There's quite a bit of owners in this horse. Uh, well done to Mr. Mowing and uh, happy birthday to Ted's mum. It's her birthday today, so what a wonderful gift for her. All right, uh, thanks so much. And you've got one other runner that we'd like to touch on, 11 in the last? You know, she's a very unlucky filly battling to break her maiden. She's always up there in the places, so we can always hope for the best with her. Lovely stuff. Thanks for the feedback. Thank you very much. Let's get uh, Anthony Del Pesce in. Uh, and uh, if you look at this uh, horse's form, there's, uh, there's not too much to go on. Uh, but the first time over ground, really moved up well and uh, held off a strong challenge. Yeah, you know, um, well done to my agent. Uh, uh, Way I phoned him early for the ride, so 
Well, I must have known something because uh, he, wouldn't, he normally doesn't phone us unless he, he fancies a horse. So he must have thought this horse has got a big chance. Yeah, he, he broke out and uh, I got caught three wide, no cover. I said, well, everything's gone wrong, but the pace was very, very slow. And at the 600, I decided to get going and I think that might have won me the race. And yeah, he just kept on digging and digging and finding a bit more. Yeah, and you're riding uh, a lot of winners, really riding at the top of your game and enjoying your riding. Yeah, you know, it's, things are going nicely, so I'm very happy. And you just, you know, with this game, you just got to keep on going. Now, time really goes by quickly. The, the other day I was digging through my drawer and I found a pen in my drawer that said Anthony Del Pesh, champion jockey 1999. Do you think uh, you're going to repeat that uh, this year? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's not really my intention of, of, of trying to win the championship, but, you know, I find myself in a position now where I'm very competitive and I can win it. You know, um, those uh, like Andrew and, and Schmanga works really, really hard. They go right around the country. So if they have a very good run, they're going to beat me because I, I'm not going to travel as, as much as they do because, uh, you know, I've got a good stable and, and it's important to be there in the mornings for work. So I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing and if I'm good enough to win it, I'll win it. Well, you're doing it right. You've got uh, Sea Urchin and uh, one for Kaname a little bit later. They probably look to be your uh, other best two on the card. I think you're spot on. I think those two are definitely my, maybe my next best two rides. They're both drawn very well, which is so important. And yeah, let's hope they can come home. And you're a pleasure to watch. Keep up the good work. Yeah, thanks very much to her and his whole team. And uh, um, I'm not sure what her name is. And uh, that's settling up for him. Yeah, and uh, I really appreciate it. Great stuff. Thanks, Ant. There we heard it from Anthony Del Pesh, uh, the jockey uh, for number four, Rosalind Chapel, the three-year-old son of a right approach. We're going to call on the owner, Mr. Nadu. Sorry, Mr. Nadu, I almost forgot about you there for one second. How can, we f <laughs> How can we forget about the owner? There's so many of you involved in this horse, and you must be over the moon for this victory. Oh, we are. This, um, Mr. and Mrs. Prince Louis in Johannesburg, uh, Rajan, Fiona Chetty, Floyd and Tawil and Gandhi, my best friends. Uh, congratulations to all of them. Uh, this is a decent loss. Hopefully, he'll go on from here. Well, the fact that this is the first time over ground, Anthony even explained that the race didn't really go out as planned. Uh, everything went wrong for him, moved up really well, and actually f uh, fought off, uh, I think, a decent horse in second. Yes, I, I think so. He's, he's going he's gonna to turn around to be a nice uh, uh, horse in, over, over ground in the next maybe two, three months. And, uh, and congratulations to Wyo. He's done a fantastic job, and, uh, and I hope for the best for him for the JNB Met. Well, we'll definitely be seeing uh, more of you in the future. That way I won't forget about you. Congratulations on your winner. You definitely will. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. so much. There's uh, Mr. Nadu representing all the owners. There's a whole host of them involved in number four, Rosalind Chapel, the three-year-old son of Wright's approach. From the way of Mowing stable, Anthony Del Pesh, Peach of a Rod, and that was bred by the Rio Stud. Congratulations to all concerned. That's the second race. Next up, pick six, leg one.